my name is Nico Amaral. I'm from Washington State. And I came here to Ole to do the Tesla practicum for my school. Um, the people were really, really nice since the very beginning and um, felt nothing but warmth from them. Um, the classes that I took, I took a Spanish class here as well. And that was really helpful, especially with the subjunctive grammar. It was really, <laughs> um, it made a little bit more sense. And I came back here for the same reason, because I was a Spanish and linguistics major. And teaching English seems like one of the only practical ways to apply those majors. So I'm safety, here. Safety, do you have any issues safety. with safety? Never, not, not once. The city is one of the, it's probably the safest city in Mexico. The yeah. Safest or the second? Yeah, one or two the yeah. safest cities in Mexico, and um, I never feel threatened here at all, like that. which is a problem because a lot of Americans think that all of Mexico is the mm -hmm. big battlefield, but that's yeah. not the case at all. So. Well, my name's Rebecca Baker, and I also came here for the very first time doing a TESOL practicum. My goal specifically was to work with adults because my ultimate goal is to be a college professor. I majored in literature and I minored in Tesla. And when I came down here, to tell the truth, I, I hardly spoke any Spanish and I was very nervous. I, I had no idea what to expect. But the staff was so friendly and so kind and I was able to receive the language support that I needed and make friends here. And it surprised me because I had been certain that I was going to go on to Korea or to Dubai or somewhere where they pay a lot for English teachers, but I ended up coming back here and I have never regretted that decision. I've been here nearly three years now and I have never felt threatened, I've never felt like it was a bad decision and as always I feel like it's important for people from the United States to come to Mexico. The fact is we're neighbors and you don't ignore your neighbors. You you visit your neighbors, you get to know your neighbors. And I think that this panic that we have is, is misguided, especially regarding Central Mexico and the states around here. Thank you. Okay, good. Hi, my name is Ruby Sanchez. Um, I also came for the first time as a student here to LA and I studied Spanish here. I um, also had the opportunity to fulfill my practicum component here. And honestly, my very first impressions of Querétaro were, wow, first of all, I always wanted to um, study abroad and I was specifically interested in studying abroad here in Mexico because I have Mexican roots and so it was really important for me to become a really engaged in, into uh, the Mexican culture and learn more about Mexico's history and also perfect my Spanish. So Querétaro really is a beautiful city. I thought about studying abroad in Brazil, I thought about other countries. But I'm really, really happy that I decided to study abroad here in Querétaro. I received excellent, um, I just had a, such a great experience here learning Spanish with the teachers. Um, they're just well-seasoned, very prepared, professional, and we also were able to establish a kind of friendship. So they really were guides for me around the city. Um, I met really amazing people. And something that I really appreciate about um, OA is the location of the school, not just the education aspect of it, but Querétaro itself is located in the center of Mexico, and the city Querétaro is amazing. There's so much to do downtown, there's really cool things to see, and something I love about living here in the state is that it's really close to Mexico City. You can go to so many different parts of Mexico on the weekends, and it's really, it's really close. And um, even though I don't have family here, it, really did become, ever since the first time I came a couple years ago, like my home away from home. <laughs> and when I had to go back to the States after my practicum, I really missed living here a lot. It was actually really hard for me to get used to being back in the States. And coming back has really been like coming back to a family. I am so, so thankful for the staff that works at LA. Um, and I left really amazing friends. And honestly, like, I can't describe, but Querétaro just has a little bit of something for everyone and ever since the first time I came I realized that I was missing something I didn't know I would I didn't even know I was missing it's just a feeling of coming home and I'm really happy with my decision uh, that I made to come back and live here and work here you guys should too <laughs>